Hello viewer, welcome back to 54A. I'm just going to update you on what I'm going to do over the next few projects as regards to um, reviewing some finishing polish that I've got. Now then, I know a lot of you will probably think, I never thought he'd say this, but I have got some Hampshire Sheen. That's the original, which I'll be doing in a minute. I've then got the Hampshire Sheen High Gloss, the Micro Crystalline, and the new Tea Wax. I've also got the Karna Crystalline Wax Stick. I'm going to be very honest and open about what I think of these products. I'm always willing to try new things and I'm going to give them a good fair go but you can't do that all at once so I'm going to spread it over my next few videos whatever piece I make and then I'll do a little update on a review because what I've got here is two ash platters um, they're from the same piece of wood that used to be like so split down the middle so I can't get much further than that when I'm comparing the Hampshire Sheen with some of the other polish that I've got and um, first one I'm going to do because I can't compare it with any other polish I've got because I haven't got anything that gives a sheen finish, a satin finish like the Hampshire Sheen original. So I've got another little platter here, a little pine platter. I've sanded down, sanding sealant, whatever. It's ready for the polish basically. So I'm going to pop this on the lathe now and give it a little dose of Hampshire Sheen original and I'll tell you what I think of it in a minute. Now I must stress I'm doing this purely voluntary. I'm not getting paid. I haven't been bribed. It's just that I think everything needs a fair go, deserves a fair go. So that's why I'm doing it. So I'll do the original today and um, at the end of my next few videos then I shall do a comparison using all the other bits and pieces from the Hampshire Sheen family. So I'm going to pop over to the lathe, this little pine platter and the Hampshire Sheen original and put some on. Okay, and I'm going to follow the instructions exactly. As I say, that's all sanded down, sanding sealer, cut it back with 00 wire wool. And it says, evenly apply a small amount of Hampshire Sheen to the piece with the lathe at slow speed with a soft paper towel. So that's what I'm going to do. I've opened the tin. There's a little, a little bit of crusting on the top, which is to be expected. I'm just going to get a bit out of the tin now. Put the lathe on just to 500, that's as low as I can go, and apply the polish. didn't take long did it but then again putting it on never does <laughs> move that out of the way now you're going to let that just dry for a little bit feel it's on there yeah and uh, so I'll leave that for a couple of minutes now just to dry off and then I'll buff it up and show you the results right, I've left that for a few minutes now and it's not so sticky to the touch now it's just about dried off I'm going to buff it up medium to high speed, uh, so I'll go about 1000 to 1500 revs.
that is a beautiful finish now, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick that up just yet so I'll take it back over to the, the bench and uh, see if I can get a bit of a better angle for you right just get a bit of a light on the subject and then you can see as I move it around there you can see that reflection just coming through the window there's no artificial light there and uh, it is exactly what it says on the tin basically it's a sheen it's a luster it's a satiny finish and uh, it's really good I'm very very impressed with that and as I say I'm, I'm not getting paid for saying that that's what I genuinely think of it it's a lovely finish on it now some woods they, they just need a satin finish on it they don't need a high gloss I do like working with high gloss but I'm always willing to give these things a try and say so some species of wood or some shape of some piece you only need to give it that luster that sheen to the wood um, so that's that little test and that's just the one coat of the original Hampshire sheen so that's, that's very good I'm, I'm impressed with that that's the first one over and done with and as I say over the next few weeks I'm going to try or a few projects depending on how fast I work the next one I'm going to try is, is the high gloss and so I'm going to use these identical platters for all the remaining uh, family of Hampshire Sheen products and then I'll use, start using the microcrystalline and the tea wax and what have you and I'm looking forward to using this this wax stick I do use a wax stick quite a lot in things that I do and uh, it'll be great to compare that with the stick that I've got I think this is going to be better actually because you've got the micro crystalline in it so um, we'll see but I'm going to give everything a fair go I can't be fair than that try even getting the wood from the same piece of wood so you know you can't say yeah but that was probably a better piece of wood to start with because they're not they're from the same blank so uh, and I've finished them to exactly the same standard 600 grit all I've got to do now is put the sanding sealant on them and, and rub them down with the wire wool. So that's basically a short little video of what I'm going to incorporate into my next few videos. So um, so the next one, two, three or four, maybe a few more, I don't know. Whatever projects I do, I'll stick these little bit of video onto the end and uh, tell you how I'm getting on with them. So that's about it for now. So... Uh, first one thumbs up for the Hampshire Sheen original and I'll see you soon for the next one bye for now